hello everyone. Welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. We are still in my favorite unit of acid-base chemistry and today we are going to learn all about the pH scale. The pH scale is the scale we use to define the acidity or the basicity of a solution. In 1909, the Danish biochemist Søren Sørensen came up with the term pH to mean the power of the hydrogen ion. The pH and the pOH scale both range from 0 to 14. On both scales, the number 7 is neutral. The pH scale is representing the amount of hydrogen or acid in the solution. On the pH scale, if you're less than 7, you're acidic, and if you're more than 7, you're basic. I did not mean to say that. <laughs> now, pOH is representing the hydroxide ions or the base in the solution. So seven is still neutral, but now if it's less than seven, it's a basic solution, that was better, and more than seven is an acidic solution on the pOH scale. The main thing we use this scale for is finding the concentrations in solution. Also, in the lab, there are special indicators that change color when a certain pH is reached, and that helps us determine the pH of our solution, and then we can find the concentration of our solution as well. This is actually the whole point of a titration lab, which I'll cover in this acid-base unit. Here's the formula to finding pH. pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. This concentration is expressed in mole per liter. So we have to find the concentration or the molarity of a solution in order to find pH. But specifically, we have to find the concentration or the molarity of the hydrogen ions in a solution in order to find pH. I will link my video here on how to find molarity in the basic equation, but we're going to be covering this later in my acid-base videos as well. We can rearrange this equation for a question if we're given the pH and we have to find the concentration of hydrogen. That will look like 10 to the power of the negative pH. And that is how we rearrange this equation. Now, we can do this exact same thing for pOH. pOH equals the negative log, but this time of hydroxide ions. For example, if a question only gives us the concentration of the hydroxide ions, we're able to find pOH. Then, to rearrange this equation, to find the concentration of hydroxide ions, we would just do 10 to the power of the negative pOH instead of pH. Now, how can we put these together? The third and most useful equation to know is that the pH plus pOH equals 14. And that is how we can bridge these two together. So I'll try some examples. The question says that the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution is 0.0545 moles per liter. Find the pH. Easy. This is a classic plug it into the formula. But I'll do this in a way that a lot of students get tripped on. So let's say that we know that the hydrogen is 0.0545 moles per liter, and I'll just use molarity. But let's say they gave it to us in scientific notation. We would have 5.45, one, two, times 10 to the negative two molarity. So now when we go to do pH, we have pH is going to equal the negative log of 5.45 times 10 to the negative two. Now we can't just plug this in. Remember back to grade 11 math where you have to disperse the log onto both of them. So we're gonna have the negative log of 5.45 plus the negative log of 10 to the negative two. Cool? 
when I plug this in, I get that the pH is going to equal 1.26. Now remember, the pH is supposed to be a number between 0 and 14. So if you don't get a number like that, um, you did something wrong. <laughs> the next question says that the pH is 4.65. Find the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. This is again a super simple plug it in question. So the hydrogen concentration is going to equal 10 to the power of the negative pH. And the only trick here is to not forget the negative. So they told us that the pH was 4.65. This equals 2.24 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter. And we're done. So easy. The next question says that the pH is 10.65. Find the concentration of hydroxide ions. Now this is a tricky question because to find the concentration of hydroxide ions, we need the pOH, but they've given us pH. So this is where we're going to use this lovely third equation. So if we rearrange this, we know that pOH is going to equal 14 minus the pH. They told us that the pH is 10.65. So when I subtract this, I get 3.35. Now I can plug it in. So the OH concentration is going to equal 10 to the negative 3.35. That's going to equal 4.47 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. If you're just in beginner chemistry, that's kind of one of the hardest questions you'll get because you have to use two equations. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments and I will get to them ASAP. See you tomorrow.